Karen. Should we do that? Yeah. I feel like there's a few people backstage. You guys might be excited to see. Them. Nice little buildings over here. Has anyone visited his merch yet? Has anyone seen the merch? Actually, it's the best fitting hat we've had so far. No, I know. It's got an MF on the side for I... Mr. Falls or curse words. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look, are we gonna or, or Mother Trucker? We're, I don't know. Get a blanket up here. This is nice. Well, for you. See, so, I, I don't need one because I'm tired. Oh, you don't need one. Right. Yeah, okay, no way. Well, I'll keep my but cut it up. Cut it up. All right. Okay. So be nice to him. <laughs> you know, like stroke his ego a little bit. And, you know, um, I think his name is like Paul Wesley. Yes! Staring at me, just 
just said, <laughs> and what'd you do? After you, Tyler just can't do anything. You know, I don't know, just like, the dead who likes That's dark. It is dark. That's dark. And that was the holiday episode. That's not the holiday spirit. Oh, was it? Yeah, so I have issues, man. Nice. <laughs> And you're in love with Pisces. it. Yeah, she's confused. Yeah. She's confused. You're in love with them. Where, you're confused at the time. You're where, who, where did the snow globe ornament come from? Me? Me? You, there's a snow globe ornament. I don't know. Wait, really? I don't remember shooting anything. And then person. somebody I said, like, worst gift ever? Yeah, it's the worst gift ever. Yeah. It was the worst. I was like, it's Merry ever. Christmas. We give you a snow globe. What a, what a boy. Yeah, that would be nice. That doesn't surprise me. <laughs> <laughs> Big top of the Yeah. What's yours? Me? Yeah. Bro, I don't know. Bro, answer the question. No, I really don't know. I don't I don't remember shooting as any Christmas stuff. You don't remember I really half don't. about <laughs> shooting. <laughs> I really don't. Honestly, I really don't. I don't have any memory of Ian and the Santa hat. Does anybody remember out there that they oh, yeah, refresh? Yeah, good job. Yeah. Balls. Season eight, dude. Season eight. What happened season eight? What happened in season eight? Huh? I went to hell for Christmas? <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> what the hell? Wow. Well, that's actually, we should end on that. That's perfect. That's fine. Yeah, perfect. Moving on, next. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, but you are producing now a lot, right? Yeah, I'm producing. Okay. <laughs> what am I producing? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Nothing crazy, you know? I got some, I'm in the lab, I'm cooking, bro. I'm cooking, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm sauteing. Okay, does that mean, is that code? I got some olive oil. What? Is that code for you can't talk about it? I'm just cooking, I'm cooking. Okay. I want you to know what's baked. You know what I'm saying? I can't wait. Okay, everyone's day two. Dee's turning into a chef. <laughs> Sounds good. Well, Candace, I know there's something you can do. Where are you? I'm struggling. <laughs> She's like, no. sounds good. So, uh... Uh, you know what, Paul? Well, let's go back to hell. It's your Christmas episode, no answer. Yeah, yeah. What do you got going on? No like, answer. Did we ever film yeah. anything? Yeah. All right, go to Candace. Yeah. She, she'll, she'll get good answers. I got this. Um, we were liars. Yes! Yes! Yeah. I had a very fun summer. Very lucky not to be a part of a new show coming out. Tell us about the show. Amazon. Amazon. Paul, shut up! <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. God, I could, there's so many times on set you could have come in handy. <laughs> um, yeah, we uh, it's, it was written and created by Karina McKenzie and Julie Black. So from the Vampire and Originals family, it's based off the book series by Emily Lockhart, and it's very fun. It's played Best Sinclair, and it's all about like family drama and. Secrets and of course in a backdrop of lobster and wine. And is that like pretty stuff. big little lies or whatever the hell? Yeah. Actually. Yeah. Yeah. What's it? Uh, there was some pretty, pretty big little lies. Pretty, li pretty, pretty little. Pretty big little. Pretty little, 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 little lies. Oh, pretty little lies. Tell me pretty big little pretty, lies on Pretty little on liars. Liars. Big little yeah. Oh, but now there's tell me lies. Big little liars. Right. There's another one though called Tell Me Lies, I think. Tell me little big liars. Are you singing? Is that a song? Yeah. I'm so confused. Is anyone following me? Yeah. Uh, yes. It's yeah. I don't know. Yeah. No, I'm confused. <laughs> um, do you know when it comes out? Um, no, it's going to come out spring, hopefully spring, maybe next summer. Amazon. On Amazon. Yes. And it's going to run the book. It's very good. Yeah. Okay. Really okay. Happy for you. That's going to be awesome. Yes. And Michael, I know. You've done directing in the past. Yes. A little bit, yeah. Is that something you're looking to explore more? I would. I did a, I did a short film a few years ago and got that out this year. I kind of sat on it too long, but finally got it out this year. And Congrats. I want to do another short because I don't want that one to be the only one. So, um... Is there a genre that you're... I kind of like horror thriller. I don't know. Those are just kind of fun. Nice! And the economics of that genre do really well, you know. So uh, I kind of, yeah, I think that genre, I, I kind of, I want to mess with. It, I feel. Are you maybe you gonna play with vampires? Again? No, 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 no. No, like real, like real horror, like 
like serial killer. And, well, I think more like psychological thriller, but like, but not jump scare. Like, I don't want cheap jump scares. Okay. I want it to be earned, but I want you to. Feel, like Hitchcock. I want you to feel tension. I want you to feel more like a. Which I have an idea. Tell me. Here we go. I can't wait. You should pull Ian out of retirement. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. You heard it here first? Ian has been retired. What are you talking about? He retired. He announced it. When did he retire? He, I don't know. He announced it. <laughs> when did he announce this? <laughs> like, like, like two months ago. <laughs> he put out a, a press release. There was a press release? Yes. I thought his retirement. There's only one thing that could pull him out, and that's you. <laughs> We need you! We need you! need me! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well you heard it here first. Stay tuned for all of that. Um, uh, if you guys want to line up in the center here, um, there'll be a microphone. And if you could say um, your name and who the question is for. Sometimes you act and you don't really, there's not much behind it. And then uh, no, other times it really is therapeutic, you know? We've had some emotional scenes that have been really therapeutic. The goodbye, you know, I mean, the goodbye scene between Damon and Stefan, well, it wasn't really a goodbye scene, it was the final scene of the show, was an interesting scene to film because it was the last scene that we shot, period, ever on the Vampire Diaries. And, during that scene, I was saying goodbye, hi to Ian, but really goodbye to Ian and goodbye to the universe. And it was a bit of closure for me. Um, and it was cool. I remember we shot that scene and I knew we had it. And then it was like cut. And then and then it just people were spraying confetti, whatever that shit. Silly, silly shit. And it's got in my eye. And then it got, and there was champagne, and it was like this really weird feeling of like happiness, but also sorrow. It was cool, but it was therapeutic within the scene. Did you know then that you'd be the one to pull him out of retirement one day? <laughs> I haven't pulled him out. I put, I You're put going him to retire. It's for the best. You're welcome. Yeah, uh, you're doing us all a favor. Yeah, by the way, Tommy just got better. Uh, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> What about you? How have you healed, Candace? Ooh, yes, that, please. That, that was a beautiful answer. Thank you. Way. Thank you. I'm oh, very good. Right. <laughs> um, I, I like that Caroline started the series saying, you know, why does he never pick me? Why am I never the one? And by the end of the series, she chooses herself. Um, wow. And so I really. Yeah. Michael? I'm not really... That was a beautiful answer. Yeah, that was a great one. I'm, I'm not... I'm not really sure. I, I think because... I mean, so many years ago, and I, I, I haven't re-watched the show, but I think at some point, to answer your question, I don't know if feeling any type of healing. I don't know if healing's the right word, but I think it'll be really interesting, you know, because I've grown so much as just a person, as a human being in life, that looking back at that, that time while filming the show, like, I know how my personal life was, and I know how my professional life was, and I, just to see that kid, not only playing Tyler, but just living, you know, on, on that show, where I'm at now, and what's to come for me. I think at that point, whenever I look back, and it'll happen at some point, is when I'll really see the younger me, and see, you know, troubles and mistakes, but growth, and uh, and I think that's when the healing will happen. Are you crying? Not yet. Oh. <laughs> Say, I, I know I don't want to like take up much of the question time, but it is because I'm at the cusp right now where my oldest is nine, and so we're all about to be nine. And and I told her when she's ten, we can watch the show together. When she's ten. All that 
That's so sweet. Yeah, I've never rewatched it or anything. Is she aware of it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, there's a whole. And it's kind of young, don't you think? It is. Well, no, yes. It, you know, I was like, well, mommy's. Anybody have a phone number to child services? <laughs> that one day, I feel like I've heard that from a lot of actors who were in series that were long running, that they start watching it again when they have children. And so it will be interesting to like watch the show. I'm, I'm interested for both of you guys one day when you do end up watching I'll watch it with my dog, Greg. Yeah. <laughs> and then you'll feel like, oh, see, he's yeah. seeing me. I've got time in life. I've got time in life. Yeah, yeah. very special. Yeah. Like, oh, it's a good question. Really Thank good you question. so much. Thank you. Bye. Whoa, cool outfit. This outfit. Yeah, right? Every this is just day. Anna Wintour vibes. Just. I heard that, yeah, thank you. Um, I am hella nervous right now, so we're gonna try to get through this. Um, first, I wanted to say thank you so much to Candace. I'm an OCD girly, and I feel like Caroline healed so much for me, and she helped me accept myself and not uh, hide parts of myself, so thank you. Um, and I also am obsessed with books. It's a thing that helps me get out of my mind so fast when I need an escape. Um, and I'm just curious, like, what do you guys do if you need a little escape, or do you read? Um, have you read a guitar or whatever? Whatever you feel like answering about books, I'm here for it. I've gone through a lot of self-help books, for sure. What's your favorite one? Um, ooh. Oh, um, uh, The Untethered Soul. So that's a great one. Yeah, that one was like, That's oh. deep. It's really, I gotta read it again, actually. Yes. That's on my bookshelf. So, as far as books, it'd be that one. But then, like, let loose, I have a snowboard. I just want to be on the mountain and I want to snowboard. So, like, that is, yeah. uh, first of all, that was really, thank you for sharing that. And I, I feel like that character and the writing of that character helped me accept things that I used to feel embarrassed or, like, try to hide about myself. So, that's very, thank you for sharing that with everyone. Um, and speaking of things I probably had about myself, um, it's The Real Housewives. That's how I relax um, watching women behave ridiculously on TV. And I love them. I love them, and I would do anything for those women. <laughs> <laughs> I did know that about you. <laughs> no, I love nature. I love nature. <laughs> uh, what are you talking about? I live in the middle of nowhere. In Malibu? I live in Topanga. That is such an actor answer. What do you mean? I live in Topanga. Put that on a t-shirt. I live in Topanga. That's what we need. I have, one, I have like no restaurants, no grocery store. Oh. I'm just saying. I in like in the thick of it, you know what I'm saying? No, I live on a hiking trail, truthfully. I hike every day with my dog. Um, I ride motorcycles. Um, I love to be out in in the mountains. I love the ocean. I go to the beach every day. I love nature. I love trees. I love hiking. And whenever I am out in nature, I feel better. Um, that's just that's my little escape. So, yeah. Just a man and his wish. Just nature Just a boy. man and his wish. Just a man and his dog. He's the nature boy. Yeah. Yeah. The man and his dog. He's the nature boy. Yeah. Yeah. Most interesting man in the world. Hi. Uh, my name is Jenny. Uh, thank wow, you, Candace, for the spotlight. Wow. 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 Um, thank you, Candace, for the blanket for my fellow tourists. <laughs> um, my question is I, I actually just found out that I'm pregnant. Uh, <laughs> Uh, it's our first baby, and I've been watching this show for over half of my life, so I always said I would name the baby after a character in the show. So I was wondering uh, what you guys think I should name them, and any parenting advice. Wow. <laughs> I was going to discuss. I was going to say this. I was going to say this. <laughs> uh, um, Mayor Lockwood? <laughs> no. We're not Tom. My guy, my doppelganger, Tom. <laughs> could be him. Was he like nurse Tom? Was he a nurse or a paramedic? He was like, uh, he was like, uh, he was like Fokker from Meet the Pants. He was a male nurse. Were there any animals on the show? 
Just the werewolves. Just the wolves. It was a crow. Um, oh yeah, the crow. Don't, yeah. But, but truly, it's congratulations. Yeah, that's a good and it's a teddy bear's name? You'll know what you just follow. You. Mr. Cuddles? That's not a good name. <laughs> You'll know the name when you know it. And also, the best parenting advice is don't listen to other people's parenting advice because you have to figure it out. Enzo. Oh yeah, I would agree with that. I would agree with that. That's pretty good. If it's a boy, if it's a boy, it's a boy. Enzo's good. Lexi's pretty good. I mean, I'm not mad at it. She'll be a badass. Congratulations. Yeah, congratulations. I hope you come back with your baby. Enzo. Thank you for sharing that. And you're amazing. 
and you can't do anything, truly. Look at all those photos and shit. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. and piggybacking off of that, also just for all of you to keep in mind, we're able to do all of this because of each and every one of you. So the way that you, we impact you, I would say just remember you also impact us because we are literally here for you every single time. And my question for y'all is, what is something that y'all took from set? I stole. I stole my daylight ring and then I lost it. I lost that shit. Can you believe it? I know. I'm pissed. Collectors, that's gonna be so no kidding. Yeah, yeah, someone's gonna get a lot of money for that. I know. Is that I lost it for real? That's right in the house. Somewhere. I put it. It was in my. It was in an old backpack, and I was cleaning out, doing like spring cleaning shit. Yeah. And and I was like, oh, I don't need this back anymore. And I threw it out, and then I was Did just saying just like that. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. 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 What about you? What did you guys steal? I took my ring. I took my ring and a pair of jeans. As if I took a pair of jeans. I took one pair of jeans. <laughs> and I was like, yeah. That's <laughs> way years. I got into eight years later. Yeah. There's no way. Um, but I took my night. ring. Yeah, my, my daughter really loves them. Like, she likes to hang out the ring. Yeah. I took the moon stone. Now, one that we use that we actually shot with, and then there's like the duplicate, I have both. So, hopefully, collectors market in a few years. I gotta wait, I gotta wait for it to peak. You know? Smart, that's smart. Yeah. Thank you. My name is Lexi, and I was wondering how each of y'all got into acting. Cool name. <laughs> I, I don't know, how did you guys get into that? I, uh, you to make a long story short, I guess, uh, <laughs> I, I, well, I grew up in Los Angeles, so for me, I grew up in East LA, and at that time, many, many years ago, it just felt attainable for me, because I was like, oh, here, there's studios 30 minutes away, that's where they shoot these TV shows and these movies, maybe I can do that. And um, at a young age, back to going to the movies all the time, um, my dad would take me to the movies every weekend, and we'd see like three movies in one day. We would like, have the 10 a.m., sneak into the 12, 12, 30. And then the last one was always rated R, and I'd be asleep by then. I'd take my nap. We all sugar and candy for the first two So weeks. you'd see three, but pay for one. Oh, yeah. Back in the day, yeah. my dad would tie it. I used to do that shit on oh, yeah. this auditorium, yeah. and then this auditorium. It's like no reserve seating back then, you know? And so I think subconsciously I was very um, like influenced by that. And then for whatever reason, I thought I could do it, and then I just tackled it, tried to go after it. And Still survive. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. I didn't know that. So that's a short story version of it. Yeah. Candace, uh, I started off in music, and at the time um, I was signed to a record label, and they wanted me to start acting. And the shortest version of the story is I decided uh, I probably wasn't going to be an international pop star. Um, and so I was like, you know what would be more responsible? Like a better, just like, plan would be to become an actor. So that's how I became an actor. We were talking about this earlier. We went to the same performing arts high school. And yes, I shadowed you. Yeah. yeah. So you're talking about, so we were both, yes, yes, oh, yes. yes. And we were like, yeah. Or cool. Orlando. It's all it's in Florida, right? 16, yeah. yeah. Orlando, they were like teenagers. teenagers. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, we were always around each other in LA. Yeah. Caught up in the same groups. But yeah, it, it kind of just, uh, and then I started, I was lucky enough to book an acting job. And I was like, they, I really like this. And I was just love being on a set. I'm a set junkie. And just came to visit John Tucker. I did. I was uh -huh. there. I remember they had to like test out one of the face masks like, from like a slumber party, and they're like, "Hey, like, like Brittany, can your friend just put on this like face mask to make sure it doesn't like break anyone's face out?" And I was like, "Yeah, I'll do it. That sounds cool." Yeah, um, yeah. yeah it was the best time. Uh, I got. I grew up 45 minutes south of Manhattan. And I was doing some theater in school in high school because I felt the hockey team. And I started doing some acting classes. Wait, did city. you want to play hockey? Yes. Really? Yeah, like legit. Oh my god, I was obsessed. Um, 
I thought I was going to be a, like a pro hockey player, so I was like, that was my like obsession. But anyway, I started doing some theater, and an agent saw me in New York City, he said, you want to audition for a soap opera? I was like, sure, whatever. I ended up getting the role, and then I, you know, I started doing more stuff. What soap? Yeah, the first soap I ever got cast in was Another World, and then uh, the show got canceled three months later. It's not my fault! And I got, but then they moved me into another show called Guiding Light with Britney Snow. Yes! Oh, yes! I so know. me and yes, Britney, yes, Britney yes. played my girlfriend for three years yes. in the show, okay. and then that was it. I just started, keep, you know, work. I, I know. Britney Snow. Britney. Yeah. Yeah. Britney. She's the best. Wow. That's it. Thank you. Thank Appreciate you. It. Thank you, Lexi. Hi, all. I'm Tina. Um, I have a question for everyone. So. If you could give your younger selves advice, like in your early 20s, what would you say? I know what I would do, uh, for real. I would be like, yo, enjoy yourself. You know, don't take it so, it's good to take shit seriously, pardon my friend, but it is also important to enjoy things. And I feel like I really enjoy my life now more than I did then. I was so broody. And I probably would have just like. You say you're so broody? Broody, yeah. That makes Very sense. Very Stephanie. Wow. Stephanie? Stefusi. Stephanie Stefusi. Stefusi. Yeah, so that's probably, you know, yeah. What about you, Candace? Um, I would say uh, stop plucking your eyebrows so much. Um, I think it's a good one. Um, yeah, and just like. I feel like I have a lot of fun. Maybe just also like not be so hard on myself, you know? Am I you, Michael Trevino? You're in deep thought about that. No one ever says Michael. I've never called you anything other than Trevino. Trevino. What's up with that? Well, because in so there's a lot of Michaels in my high school, and I played football all four years. And so by playing football, everybody went by their last name. So I was always Trevino since high school, and that just carried on in my twenties. Yeah, and there's a lot of Michaels around. So like Trevino is just everybody just go by their last name. I, I, I even said that coming on stage. Yeah, yeah. It's just yeah, yeah. yeah. Never, it's like the, it's like you don't have a first name. Yeah, no. You're like Madonna. <laughs> I guess so. Yeah. Wait, is that her last name? <laughs> no, but I'm not sure. It's not at all like that. It's just like <laughs> one word, like Cher or Prince. Prince. Yeah, Trevino. Prince. So yeah. Like Prince. Yeah, Trevino. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I would tell my younger self to slow down. Um, uh, like you said, like be kind to yourself, I guess, because I'm like i still kind of hard on myself even now to this day. And back then, yeah, it was kind of hard on yourself to just slow, slow down, be kind. Stop being so selfish. Yeah, the selfish thing. Not good. Yeah, so. Great guy. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Hello. Welcome back. Thank you. Hi, guys. I'm Katie Chavino. Yes. Great questions for you. Yes, indeed. All right. Um, so, the werewolf transformations, they were intense and emotional to watch. What was the most challenging part of filming those scenes, both physically and emotionally? Well, I think it was like endurance, because we, 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 for the first World War Transformation, we shot it over two days, and it was two like 12 hour days. So for me, it was about like, okay, don't like over, overdo it and, and kind of run out of gas by middle of the day. So the physicality, I kind of, I don't know, I'm, I'm athletic, and so the physicality was pretty easy to me as far as any kind of fast twitching or just being rough or throwing myself around. But with the emotion, to be quite honest with you, like I had a lot of help from Candace on both of those days. Because it was both of us in there together by myself. And I was also, at the time, it was like a big deal. It was like, here's the first world of transformation we're going to do. Like, it's got to be great. And then all of us, even people, creators involved, producers, writers, directors, kind of figuring it out on the go because we had never done it before. So I felt a lot of responsibility. Uh, but during that time, like, the emotion, because part of me was also like, I'm not naked, you know? So you're kind of vulnerable and scared. But like, I remember Candace, like, in between takes, like, genuinely, like, like brushing my head, kind of holding me. Because I, you know, you're changing, we kind of just stay there while they're doing another setup and um, just try to stay in that emotional state as much as I could. So, yeah, Candace helped out a lot with that. And I make sure you have pizza and cookies after. Yes, because I was trying to get fit, but at the end of the day, they had pizza, they had two pizzas, two very large pizzas and cookies waiting for me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Keep it lean, bro. Gotta keep it tight. Thank I know you're season one, two, good for bro. I'm no G. Well, really? <laughs> Set the tone. I was like, oh my gosh, you better see what God better said. I think you refused. You did watch that ass. You did. <laughs> <laughs> we have a question here, please. Thank you. Hi, my name is Lay Ray, and my question is Do you guys have any advice or tips for actors? Study. Don't do it. Study and get your class. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm Don't kidding. do it. No, you have, to, you have to study. You got to be in the class. You have to train. Find the proper training. You have to continue to train. And never stop training. Take it seriously. Just like anything else, like school, training, work at. I love. For me, I learned the most in theater. You know, it doesn't matter if it's a big play or in terms of big production. But I love doing theater. It, it did it as a child, and I went back and did it while I was on the Vampire Diaries in New York. And I, I just find that my mo the most growth I have is when I do plays. So I would encourage you to do that. Do you feel like it's because it's live or just training? Yeah, or? I think it's the OG. You know, we, it's your, you know theater is the, the, the birthplace of, of, of acting, obviously. We didn't have cameras. And I don't know. It's just something about uh, being live and, and, and have, using your body and not you know focusing so much on your face and lighting. You're just like you're using your, the whole stage. And just something about it is very performative and like a very I don't know, in a way that it, for me is, uh, 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 then dictates how I act on screen. Um, I feel like that's, it's like, uh, in a way, a precedent to it. Yeah, if that makes sense. Uh, I would just say, remember your why, just like anything else in life. Like, if you're pursuing something in any industry, like, why do you want to be there? And um, Because it's a crazy business, but a lot of businesses are kind of crazy, and, and so it should also be fun. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, I'm Lara from Brazil, and I just wanted to ask, what are your guys' favorite Christmas movies? Oh my God, a Christmas story. Favorite Christmas movie. Yeah. You guys ever see Christmas story? Movie, oh okay. yeah. Remember he shoots his eye out with the BB? Yeah. That shit's sick, right? <laughs> Remember when the dad buys the lamp and it's a woman's leg and the mom gets pissed? She's like, throw that out! No, is, that no, the same movie where he puts, is that the same movie where he puts his tongue on the yes. Yes. Oh, I love that movie. It hurts, it hurts. Great movie. I mean, I always love Just Friends. <laughs> Just Friends? Yeah. yeah. That's a Christmas movie! Oh, yeah, that's right! Oh, wow, I completely forgot about it. Yeah, I know. Um, yeah, oh, yes. right. Well, it takes place oh, during right Christmas time, forgot. so it's right not a traditional right? Christmas movie right. per se. I forgot right. about that one. It takes place but it's during the holiday time. Yeah, oh, it's the one with Anna Ferris? Yeah. yeah. Is, yeah. I, I remember, and that's a good movie, it but I forgot it. It just makes me really laugh so hard. Yeah. Anna yeah. Ferris or Anna Ferris is like, that just makes me laugh so hard. What about the James Walls? I love it. Do you remember when they drive the like, couple when they're in their sweatsuit there? Remember when they're in their sweatsuit? In the Griswolds. Yeah, 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 but like Julie Louis Dreyfus is in like the silver sweatsuit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're like, we're gonna put a tree that, that big. And yeah. he's like, bend over and I'll show you. Yeah, he's like, he's like, how he's like, I wasn't talking to you. <laughs> Yeah, Jeremy Palomino, yeah. Palo something, right? Yeah. That's so funny. Ryan Reynolds. Yeah. I was like, early Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, uh, Home Alone. Yeah. Home Alone. Yeah. Home Alone. Classic. Put it on lockdown. Home Alone. Oh, yeah. Home Alone. Yeah. Yeah. Home Alone. Yeah. Home Alone. Did you know we're all older than they were in that movie? I just saw something on Instagram that if like if Don't you were born about. before this year, you're older than like Marv and um, the parents. Yeah, but then the, the burglars. The Pesci. The robbers. No. Yeah. How old are they? Joe Pesci? No. 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 But like they're they're aging the movie. By the way, no, you're probably right. They're aging the movie. I know. Don't we could all be robbers by now. I know. I don't we could be playing that. robbers. Jeez. Ian's for sure older. Hundred percent. Ian's for sure robbers. Teacher and speak out for the gun violence in our schools. 
aspects of the values that you go to. So I was wondering, for all of you, what's an impact that's made to your politics and your as well? Thank you for saying that. And thank you, you're a teacher. What grade do you teach? Okay. Third grade. Oh my, that, like, teachers are expected to do so much for their students, for the community, let alone themselves and their own families. So thank you for being a teacher. Truly, thank you. Uh, I'm a big animal rights advocate. I love animals, I love them so much. I love nature, I love the ocean. I do? I, do. I love animals, I love all animals, not just dogs and cats, I love all animals. I think they all deserve to be treated in a better way than they are. And so that's something I'm pretty vocal about. Pretty happy about that. Pretty feel pretty good about myself. I'm a great guy. Humble. Uh, Michael? Uh, I, I, I've been a long time supporter of Operation Smile, which provides uh, surgeries for children all over the world with cleft palates, cleft lips. And so, uh, yeah, so that's, and it's funny, like, because. What made you choose that? So, uh, an ex-girlfriend of mine, I was her plus one to a charity event for them, and I saw what they were doing, and I was like, wow, this is amazing. And so, I was just invited to an event as a plus one, and then I just got really involved, and I've done a mission out in Thailand, and um, we do this uh, in Utah, we do this fundraiser, it's in March, and I, I'm actually, they're actually giving me a, an award, because I've been supporting them for over 12, 12 years now. That's amazing. So, uh, getting this kind of honorary award from them, and so, um, yeah, it's a great organization. And there's a few, there's like, smile training, there's another, but they all basically do the same thing, and so it's really uh, impactful for those that aren't, aren't able to afford these surgeries, but it, the impact that it has on those families and the neighborhoods, uh, and in their communities, it's, it's big. So it's nice to cool. um, do these uh, fundraising and, and having these surgeons donate their time to do these surgeries. So if you don't know about it, look it up, Operation Smile, they do amazing work. Great question, thank you so much. Last question. Hi, my name is Peyton, and I was wondering if you guys remember, what is your favorite line from The Vampire Diaries? It could be any character. I'm not your little bitch anymore. <laughs> Who'd you say that to? <laughs> Nicholas? Yeah. Nicholas. <laughs> yes, Nicholas. <laughs> What's your favorite line? <laughs> I always say everybody needs to stop kissing me. <laughs> you said that? That's pretty funny. Who was kissing you? Everyone. Uh, Let me tell you. Yeah, everybody. I did. I kissed you. 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 I What's my favorite line? I don't know. What did I say? Oh. Um, I liked when I was set, uh, uh, Silas. I would say shit like, oh, I don't know, Mom, am I? <laughs> that was, I was here for that. Were you? Okay, no, you? That was seven? No, you said that, yeah, you, we were. Maybe I was drunk seven. Yes, you said yes, drunk seven. Oh, shit. You okay. said that to David. Oh, yeah. Because we were Bon Jovi dancing. Yeah, drunk seven. Drunk seven was way more fun. Oh, no kidding. <laughs> That's my line. No kidding. Uh, yeah. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. Thank you, guys. Thank you for sitting here. Thank, Thank you for hanging out. Appreciate you all. Thank you, guys.